Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you'd like to see how I created these, then keep on watching. Hello, welcome, welcome. Come on in, put your feet up. Get a wee blanket, get yourself cosy and a wee cuppa and just chill. <laughs> this one's a wee bit long. So yeah, all the products I'm using are listed down below along with my link tree. That's where you'll find all the websites, socials and discount codes. Yes. <laughs> this week's video is for Robert Burns. Now, Robert Burns is a famous Scottish poet and he wrote the song Old Lang Syne. So yeah, we celebrate his birthday. It's on the 25th of January. So we got all our tartan on, you know, kilts, tartan. Um, have a wee Kayleigh after a meal, which is usually haggis, neeps and tatties and they recite a lot of his poems and stuff. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> some Scottish music and some Scottish dancing. <laughs> anyway, what am I doing? I'm putting two coats of raspberry red on four of the nails. I'm quite sure. And two coats of pure black. I'm just going to go in and use my dry top coat because we're going to take the beautiful, beautiful, what was it? Two seconds. It's Hello Ruby. <laughs> I got my notes up so I can check the colours because I can't remember. It was two seconds ago. I've blinked since then. <laughs> so on that wet top coat, I'm just going to sprinkle the Hello Ruby all over, making sure to cover everywhere and I'm going to then double cure that just to seal it in properly. Um, so that's the index and the pinky finger. I'm then going to do a dry top coat on the thumb and the ring finger because we're going to do some Burns Tartan, which I'll put a wee picture up just shortly to show you what that looks like. Um, so Robert Burns is the famous Scottish poet that wrote Old Lang Syne. Um, it's the one thing I can say that the majority of people in the world will know that song. But they will ne not everyone knows where it came from. Um, so yeah, we celebrate his birthday every year on the 25th of January and we have an evening of celebrating him and his poems. Um, they do the address to the haggis before they eat haggis, neeps and tatties. There's traditional Scottish music and dancing. Um, so it's a whole thing and it's it's really good fun. Um, and we're all taught about Robert Burns and the history behind him um, since primary school. And we get to learn traditional Scottish dance and stuff as well at primary from primary onwards. We hated it, but I appreciate it now as an adult. <laughs> Anyway, let me just get back to these nails. So I've just put down on the palette some Deep Navy, Autumn Sun and Dream Life. That's the tartan there. This is the Burns tartan. Um, and I'm just going in with Dream Life and some aquarelle base just to share that out a bit for the background. So this is going to be the thicker line. So I'll do that down the nail and then across. Um, I'm just using this square brush and um, because it's got a straight edge, I can get that tidied up quite easily. I'm just using some bling line cleanse just to clean that. There we go. Then I'm just gonna use my liner brush and line the edges of that. And then in the centre I'll use the other brush just to fill it out a wee bit. I know I want it a bit sheer but I want to still be able to tell the colour. Now this is going to be interesting because you probably notice that there's a, a shiny dot. Now I put that there so that I would stay in frame. And it didn't work. <laughs> it was actually worse. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I was doing tartan and it's line work and... Oh, seriously? <laughs> See, it's going to get worse to tell you. <laughs> I'm all over the place for this. <laughs> but at least you can see what I'm doing, kind of. <laughs> um, I've also left some mistakes in to show you that I do make mistakes. And sometimes it takes a lot of takes before I can get, say, a line. Just 
a single there was one line that I just couldn't get on this. <laughs> it was driving me absolutely crazy. So I'm just doing this across the way now. I did it a bit thinner going across the way. So that it would give me more room just to get a bit more of the pattern in there. I have done other tartan nails, but I've never done ones as intricate as this one. Um, so it definitely did um, challenge me a bit. <laughs> but um, it wasn't perfect, but I was quite pleased with it. So that's that. I'm just going to think I'll do another one at the bottom. Yeah. Oh yes, don't forget that I'm going to have a couple of shout outs in the video, so look out for those and I will have the new name of my hand, since I haven't had a name for her. She's been a wee orphan, we need to give her a name. <laughs> so I'm just taking another wee brush and just filling in those, those areas that I've blamed. I apologise if you can hear my son in the background. He's currently playing his Xbox with his friends and can get quite um, animated. <laughs> it gets so into it and because he's got these big headphones on, he can't hear how loud he is. Um, so usually I do my voiceovers throughout the day, like during the day, so it's a bit quieter, but um, it's, it's a wee bit later today, so you might hear him. <laughs> um, I'm just putting in the thin lines with the full opacity of the Dream Life colour, which is the green. Right, so here's the first of our shout outs and this is for the lovely Jane. This blue is stunning and is perfect with the copper gold colour. I'm not a nail tech, I'm just currently shielding and find it really relaxing watching the transformation of the nails. I love how happy you are in all your uploads. Your laugh makes me laugh and I especially love hearing a Scottish accent. I'm Scottish too. Take care, lovely. Hello there, my fellow Scots. Welcome to my channel. Everyone's welcome here. I'm so happy to have you join me. Honestly, it's this is what it's all about for me. And if this is helping you get through lockdown, even better. Honestly, it's, it's just... It's a tough time for everyone right now and um, yeah, I'm so glad that I'm making you laugh and what can I say? It, this is why I do it. This is why I do this. Love it. Thank you so much for your lovely comment. It really means a lot. And we're going to have a couple more comments later on in the video. Yes, with the new nail. The new nail. New name. New nail. <laughs> well, we're doing new nails as well. <laughs> The new name for my hand. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh. So I'm still working on the green lines. So I'm doing the thin ones going either side of the big, thick, sheer one. That's the technical term, the big, thick, sheer one. <laughs> oh, I'm such a professional, aren't I? Love it. Okay, so I've sped this bit up because this is the blue line that I couldn't get right for love nor money. There's a good Scottish saying there, love nor money. Um, I tried numerous, numerous times. That's the like numerous, numerous times. <laughs> I'm making no sense here. So as you can see, I kept trying and I kept trying and I persisted with it and it drove me off my head. I got so frustrated with it, but I got there in the end. So never ever think that us ladies and gentlemen that do youtube get everything perfect we don't we just edit a lot of things <laughs> because if we don't edit it you're going to be here for a fortnight trying to watch one video <laughs> no joke <laughs> this was about um i'm trying to think about an hour long before i edited it i think and you can see absolutely nothing. So that dot that's there was of no use whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> then I realised, I'm like, oh. <laughs> but as you can see, I'm doing the blue lines across. I know this is a lot of um, 
line work but it is an intricate tartan and I, and I really wanted to do the buns tartan I've done the more um, simple tartans um, so I wanted to really push myself and do this one so now I'm just going to go in and do the yellow now, this is the final lines now so we're getting on the home straight for this tartan nail <laughs> Did you know that the cloth that the tartan is on is called a plaid? A plaid is basically a big, long piece of tartan cloth. Um, and it's wrapped around the body and then it was thrown over the shoulder and pinned um, to keep it over the shoulder. So the plaid is actually the name of the cloth and the tartan is the pattern on the cloth. So yeah, there's a wee bit of... Scottish knowledge. <laughs> so yeah, um, the plaid is called the big cloth and then tartan is the pattern. And I just love it. I love tart ta ta tartan. <laughs> Seriously, see if you're not crazy after you watch one of my videos, it's a miracle because I make no sense whatsoever. <laughs> Right, so with these three lines, I did the centre one first and then I did the two lines either side just to make sure that I got that in the centre where I wanted it and then the other two I would judge off that one rather than doing the top, middle and bottom. So yeah, that's how I gauged that. And then I'm going to do one at the top. There is a lot of line work in this one. I tell you what, I was I was really relieved when I'd finished it and I only did one nail on camera because we would, we would have been here for probably a month, never mind a fortnight if you had had to watch me do two of these. <laughs> Plus they're on these extreme length coffin tips that I've got and yeah, why didn't I do them in short ones? <laughs> That would have been too sensible, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, so Tracy Marshall says, Your giggle is contagious. Love these nails. Love the colour and of course the sparkle. And I think you should name her Wee Betty. Bring Wee Betty out for a bit of pampering. <laughs> and Julia Lindman said, Name it Miss Nelly. Beautiful set as usual. Thank you so much, both of you, for your lovely comments and um, your name suggestions. I'm going to go with Wee Betty. <laughs> It just, it just feels right. That's the name for her. She's wee Betty. We're going to bring her out for some wee pampering. And I've went full blown Scottish there. I do apologise. <laughs> We're going to bring out wee Betty. And she's going to get wee pampering now and again. So yeah, thank you so much for the, the name suggestions. I really, really appreciate them. And it was quite fun to read them. Um, yes, before I forget. So what I'm doing here is I've lightened up the colour that I'm using for the green with a wee bit of white um, just to highlight those wee bits that you can see there because it was a wee bit brighter on the actual tartan. Um, so I'm just going to go over and give them both a coat of the dry matte. And that's them. Ta-da! Looks like it was so easy, but it wasn't. <laughs> That blue line drove me off my head. Okay, so I am going to be doing these Blooming Roses. You can see them above in the picture and it's by Kirsty Parker Nail Artist. I've linked her down below in the description box for you. I'm putting on some Aquarelle Base Clear and I'm going to use White Collar Gel Polish and my Nat Mug Detailer Brush. Um, yeah, I've, I've linked her video down below on Instagram for you because I watched it to learn this technique. I've put a wee dot in the centre there and then I'm just swirling it round. Swirling. When I'm happy with that, I'm then going to put a wee dot in the centre and pull it to the right. And then a wee dot in the centre again and pull it to the left. You don't want them touching. You want to have that black gap between them. So it's just a wee dot in the centre and pull it to the opposite side that you've just done and then when you go in to do the next set of petals you want to do it at the opposite sides making sure that you're not touching or 
honestly, I was blown away by how amazing this looks and how easy it was. So I'm just going to do the same again. I do another two roses, including this one. You don't need to make it look perfect at all. You just let it do its thing as long as you don't touch the previous petal that you've done. <laughs> My boy is screaming through there. <laughs> so I'm just going to do that again. Dot, pull, and dot and pull. And it doesn't matter if it's right at the very edge when you're doing this, it will it will just spread out to where it can. Um but you just when you get to your last one, as you can see the other ones have bloomed out quite nicely. Um just I've just added a wee bit extra there. Just leave it a few seconds just to let that bloom out and then cure it in the lamp. I'm now going to take my white gel paint and I'm going to do some highlighting. So I'm going to do the swirl in the centre and then the edges of the petals. So we're just adding some highlights in there. They don't need to be perfect. Um, just go with whatever you, you think. Petals, as she said before on the video, petals aren't the same roses aren't the same it's a natural thing so they're never going to be symmetrical or perfect and it's just keeping those lines nice and thin And you can also use absolutely any colour of, like you can do absolutely any colour of rose. I chose the red rose and that was because of Robert Burns, because he wrote a poem. And it's called A Red Red Rose and it goes like this. Oh my love is like a red red rose that's newly sprung in June. Oh my love is like the melody that's sweetly played in tune. So fair art thou, my bonny lass, so deep in love am I. And I will love thee still, my dear, till all the sea gang dry. Till all the sea gang dry, my dear, and the rocks melt with the sun. I will love thee still, my dear, while the sands of life shall run. And fare thee well, my only love, and fare thee well a while. And I will come again, my love, though it were 10,000 mile. There we go. <laughs> Wee bit of Scottish poetry there. <laughs> right, so I'm taking the raspberry red and the base aquarelle just to share out the red catch my breath after reciting that wee poem <laughs> so I'm just sharing that out of it and I'm just going to paint that over the cured um, the cured blooming roses I don't know where I was going there <laughs> um, if you feel like it needs to be a bit darker you can always add a wee bit more red into that once that's cured, I'm going to go over with the top dry mat. Once I've done that, I'll cure that in the lamp and that's the set all finished. Ta-da! Just like that. <laughs> um, thank you so much for joining me on this video and um, I hope you enjoyed it. I've certainly learned something from doing these uh, and I've pushed myself a bit harder to try and do something a bit more intricate with my tartan. Um, so yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed it please like subscribe comment all that good stuff that will help my channel grow and i really hope to see you on the next one don't forget to leave me a wee comment and i'll give you a wee shout out next week yes and don't forget to stay creative <laughs> thanks so much for joining me i'll see you in the next one bye